Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're, We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Ronnie. And Cash. We're here to talk to you about our stitching this week, and we have some exciting things to show you. Woohoo! Before we get into questions. This is the new Star Spangled Swine Farm. I have some of the charts. We Stay might, tuned. We might be giving away a couple today, but I thought I would show it to you again. So they shipped to shops this week. So maybe even as far as early as today, you can start getting them at your shops. So we're so excited for this to come out. It's amazing and you'll love stitching it. It's just adorable. And it's got all those really pretty patriotic colors that are kind of vintagey and the tree and the bunting and the little truck in the back with the pigs and the house is so cute. So there Beautiful. it is. And it's probably crooked on the top because my wreath is twisting, but. We've got a chandelier that's I just impeding to show our again. display. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't fix my hair today, so. I did, but it's like raining cats and dogs and humid and just. Well, so I complain. Even though the air is on. It's beautiful. Raining? Yeah. <laughs> it's, the weather is just not cooperating. For the 112 days in a row. Right. My tomatoes have been in the ground for like, what, two and a half seconds, and I've already got flea beetles. So I'm, <laughs> I, like, <laughs> it's just not a good week. All right, but we had a lot of questions. I loved reading the comments about what you were doing on Memorial Day. So glad that you're able to take some time to stitch or relax or hang out with family and remember what the day is about. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, Faith wanted to know, what do you put on the back of the smalls that you hang from the cabinet? Sometimes they're unfinished, so nobody's going to see the back of it. If oh, you want to put something, you could put felt or... Like the banners? Yeah. I, I don't... If the back isn't going to show, I don't waste the fabric. Yep. But if you have access, you can just put some on the back. On my ornaments, I usually take a piece of felt or I do a piece of fabric, or you can actually put another piece of sticky board with fabric wrapped around it backwards on it to, to finish, finish that it. off. Yeah. Jeannie, when Hunter is uh, making his appearance, will he be stitching? Not no. Oh my, God, no. <laughs> my God, that would be awful. <laughs> and he's not here. He had to go to work early for inventory. Convenient. Mm -hmm. uh, Cindy, do you purchase floss whenever or for specific projects? Uh, if we find it on sale, like that's a good time to kind of stock up. Uh, right before Mania, a lot of shops were having sales for 20% off your entire purchase. You can use that to stock up on floss. I think these bundles that we um, have been showing are mm -hmm. an excellent way to kind of start your floss. Again, and I'm getting more into it where I don't use the call for colors. I use colors that are similar or my own color palette to match my house. So I've used that land that I love floss pack for like <laughs> four or five projects. Yeah. So I mean, it, and it's, I might have to add one or two to it, but yeah, it's coming very handy. This is and the, this is amazing. The fancy floss favorites that we have through Fat Quarter Shop, we went through and just picked out a bunch of the, um, the ones that we use the most. Yep. And this gets you a bunch of different seasons. So, I mean, there's like pumpkin harvest in here, which you can use for uh, Halloween or autumn. There's everything. There's a mm -hmm. range of colors that you can use for multiple projects. And then you might just have to add one or two colors to it and you got, you're good to go. What are you doing? Don't touch that. Um, okay. And then Patty. We'll be giving that away now this week, but next, maybe next week. Maybe next week. Patty, how do you keep up with your thread inventory? So sometimes I just go through and like pet them. I mean, no, there's no like thread inventory, especially because I have so many whips. So I'm probably, we're probably not the people to ask. Yeah, that. We're I, I go and I, I know what color I want to use and I look for it and mm, not there. So then I have to go and steal it from another project and then remember and write myself notes. Mm -hmm. and. So I don't get my hair done. I don't get my nails done. I'll get a pedicure here and there. We don't go out on dates. Like this is my, what I spend my money on she this and the garden. Smoke. She right, gave I, up smoking last week. I don't. No, I just don't have any habits or things like that. My things are I buy thrifty things for the house. I gardening, garden, so flowers. Last week, so our bank app updated and now it sends like this fancy sing song like doo -doo 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 -doo, when I make a purchase on the credit card to both of our phones and last weekend we went to like four or five different flower shops and he's like I think we're at the limit for flowers because it's just, just non-stop anyways um okay I, I want to tell you something too before we get too far into this so we don't forget that your ducks flew away yes my duck is gone and all of her eggs 
Yes, I think something got, maybe the eggs. I think mom was safe because there was no feathers or anything left, but there was no sight of the eggs either. I don't, there I've was, never heard of them There was moving. a fat possum crossing the street. I mean, the thing was like this big around. It was just like waddling. It looked like a hippopotamus. Maybe she was pregnant. Well, her and her little <laughs> friends <laughs> ate all the eggs then because there's no shells, there's no nothing. I was like, oh my gosh. No, and that wasn't what I, I wanted okay, to say sorry. that next week. We won't be here on Saturday. We won't have a video until Sunday morning because I am going with my son and my husband to watch Bonnie pole vault in Austin, Texas. So, yeah. and I won't get home till Saturday night. So we're going to do our video Sunday morning. So sorry. Yeah. One extra day. Mm -hmm. All right. Now that you've just put a damper on the whole yeah, but feel. I knew, I knew if I didn't say it, I would forget by the time I feel like you're sweating because of that. Guys, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what kind of cloth do you use to iron with a terry cloth? Just whatever's yeah, down there. A towel. <laughs> a towel. Towel out of the dryer. Oh, it's clean. <laughs> um, okay. Surely, when you mount on sticky board, do you always use batting? No. No. Typically, if it's a round object, because the batting will help hide any imperfections, imperfections in when my you cut it. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard to cut a circle, don't worry. Especially with the scissors because I don't use an exacto knife or anything. Yeah, she'd cut I'm off afraid. her face. Mm -hmm. Shirley, was the tray you painted with chalk paint wood or metal? It was metal. Mm -hmm. You that, that Again, that chalk paint, you can paint anything. Plastic, metal, wood. Ceramic. The the kind of furniture that's like, um, it's not really. Glossy. Yeah. yeah it's like cheap <laughs> furniture. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Mary, when you have two projects using the same color, do you split the floss, have two of the fancy floss? So sometimes I'll just take a strand depending on how much I'm using and make a note of what I'm using. Otherwise, yes, sometimes I have doubles. With the mm -hmm. things that we use often, I have multiples of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it depends on how much floss it's going to call for. I mean, if it's only going to be like one strand of it, then just pull I'll it. steal it yeah. from someplace else. But if it's going to be... A lot, then you probably need a, a, a whole one so that you can again we're throwing have the, the um, same dialect. Yes, Daniela DMC has variegated threads. I don't see many using them. Okay, so their variegated is like I don't know how to explain. This it. part is light blue. This part is navy blue yeah. right next to each other. So it's, it's not, not like a seamless yeah. thing and. So some of their browns, um, I found some of their yellows are okay, but some of them are really glaring where if you're not careful, you'll get a very striped look where uh, Classic Color Works, Weeks Eye Works, Gentle Art, it's co Color and Cotton, um, it's like a, it's a nice flow, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. I've never used any of the DMC very good. Lori, uh, tell us more about Jolly July. So yesterday. The mania wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. I know. What did I do with my little book? Yesterday, I went through and I chose my 31 ornament starts for Jolly July. So we're doing an ornament, every starting an ornament every single day. And if you don't want to start an ornament every single day, then start one and stitch on one that you already started or something. Just so that by the time Christmas comes, you have a lot of ornaments for your tree. So we're really excited about it. And I am using a new book because this one is my mania book this one's going to be my jolly july, july book oh I was i'm going to keep show track that. um and fat quarter shop did uh carry a country cottage needleworks ornament pack i know they were they might have been sold out i i saw a comment but they're working to get more of them in if they haven't already um but it is just a collection of ornaments mm -hmm. from country cottage needleworks which they are do have absolutely a lot of gorgeous ornaments right now this one makes me so happy because it reminds me of mom with her cookies and now her ray dunn bowls stacked up tall all right anyways um and i think that that once they have our list that they're going to get a lot of the ornaments in stock too that we're doing yeah so we did we we both have to come up with our lists i'm working on it <laughs> shannon when are you starting your beehive chelsea maybe next year not this year we cleared out some evergreen nasty things that were gross and there's like a perfect area now for hives i just can't talk my husband into it this year my garden was only supposed to cost me like 100 bucks like that was my budget and i told them i was doing it were past that and now i've got them building a fence for me hey you can't do that um so it's it, yeah next year <laughs> uh maxine looking at your posted photos i'm wondering if you always stitch the lighter colors first and then fill in with the darker i do try to do that but sometimes it doesn't work out that way for me because i don't i don't want to 
like jump around a whole lot and make mistakes and have to rip it out. So if I can do it easily, yes, the white would go first. White, yes, because if you, so that our thought process is on that. If you accidentally pull a thread from um, the like, if you have a black or a brown next to it, you're gonna get that kind of into your white. Hey, out of grandma's drawers, thank you. Mind your business. <laughs> um, do you ever grid your fabric? Mm -mm. <laughs> Caught red handed. <laughs> Maureen, she used to cross stitch and she's wondering a good chart to start with. Uh like like I said last week when we showed those patriotic ones that come with the floss. They come with the fancy floss. That would be a good thing to start because they're only about this big. All the designers we show have really easy charts to read. We don't do hard things. Right, right. No, easy charts to read. Um, they're not <laughs> confetti stitches. So <laughs> what, the deer? Um, no, I They that. are easy charts to read. They don't call for a ton of colors. Uh, so heart and hand, hands on design, Lori Holt. Little uh, House. Little House, Country, Country Cottage, Cottage. Needleworks. Lizzie Kate, if you can still get your hands on them. Uh, with a needle and thread, plum tree samplers. I mean, all of these are, you can find small designs mm -hmm. with any of them. If I'm leaving anybody out. Yes, uh, or get an ornament and join us for Jolly July. Yep, yeah, because ornaments are small and they might be mm -hmm. easier for you to start finishing if you want to start finishing your own products. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. Rich, was the fabric you showed Moda? Do you have that in here? So the... Um, this is part of my haul. Sweet Christmas. Mm -hmm. So Sweet Christmas is Moda. And then um, the other one, the red plaid, I put it in the description. It was like a, it was from a Woodlands set. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to describe fabric, so I'm going to learn how to do that. But it it's on the, uh, the description, this red plaid, a lot of people were interested in. So this is in there under, it's called Woodlands, over here, Woodland Friends by Michael Davis. And this was part of the sweet Christmas. And then this is a Riley Blake. Awesome. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Bridget, have you done any finishing tutorials and how do you decide the way you'll finish a project? Um, we did a bunch of them with Fat Quarter Shop. So those will be released either on their channel or ours, their Fat Quarter Shop floss tube. And Probably in the next month. Right, it will, yeah, in the next, in the next couple of weeks. weeks. Yes. So sometimes I don't have anything down the basement because I've got a big stockpile of thrift store frames. And, old and crusty downstairs. Yes, old trays and stuff I found at flea markets. I'm, I've got a lot of stuff downstairs. So if I don't have anything down there that I think will look good, then I trot myself off to Hobby Lobby or Michael's and try to find something. Yeah. So sometimes I don't find anything and I come home and I try to make something work at home. But other times I'm stitching and I know, like if it's a series, then I know that it's gonna get finished the same way. Like the farm that we just showed you, Carrots and Cottontails was on that. So all four of the farms will be on that door. Correct. So, and sometimes I just gotta, oh, I wanna do this this way and go find that item. Rosetta. How many strands do you use on 10 count? 10. So I have not stitched on 10 count. I've only done 14 count with two strands, but I think you use four strands with 10 count. Uh, that's the number I was going to say too. Bonnie, it's interesting that you have ducks. Are they mallards? Yes, they are mallards. It was an impulse buy by my husband at the feed store. Um, so now we have three. We started with two. She had babies and only one stayed. So I got to get some more because both two of the three are boys. Um, I want fancy ducks though, but they're messy. What kind of duck was my duck? A mallard. She thinks that my husband took the duck. <laughs> like he didn't take the duck. I didn't think he took the <laughs> duck. <laughs> she texted the group chat, Andy took the duck. <laughs> no, he didn't. But her nest is really pretty. It's all full <coughs> lined with feathers and she mm -hmm. took, she had them in the... What are those Japanese or irises? Those irises. Ones that are like grassy, not the ones with the thick stalks. 
and she had like all the brown stuff around the bottom for the bottom of the nest and then her feathers all lining it. Yeah, so chickens, ducks, I mean maybe many birds, they pluck out their feathers on their breast and their underside to keep the eggs warmer. So if you have, if you see pictures of people with chickens and they say a broody hen, that means the chicken is sitting on eggs. Sometimes they're fertilized, sometimes they're not. And they'll be like naked under here because they've yanked out their own feathers. Um, okay. Glinda, does your family realize you're rock stars and what do they think? No, they just think we're ridiculous. <laughs> we don't think we're rock stars either. So. You're going to do your video again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're just going to throw it all together and hope that it's good. <laughs> Sometimes they watch us and say, you need to slow down this part. You need to talk about this more. You need to stop rocking in your chair. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Nikki, uh, when doing a round piece for a bucket, do you create a lid for it or do you finish it like an ornament and it rests on top or do you use magnets to keep mm -hmm. it on top? Mm -hmm. Relax. Um, the last one I did, I, I did two layers of sticky board and the top one sat right on the top of the bucket and then I added strings in between, not strings, ribbons in between so it could tie to the handles. Okay. And I tried to buy the bucket again and I couldn't find it. Yeah. So now I gotta finish with no bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chelsea. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all the questions I have for this week. Okay, so for previous finishes, she's got seventy over here. No, I don't. I brought two two big ones. This has to stay up. This goes on, uh, and you can't see this when it goes up there, but this goes on a nail up on top of the doorway into the family room, and this is an old vintage window that I made a bunting for, and this is a Bent Creek row. Stars and Stripes Row. Am I boring you? No. <laughs> I got like zero sleepless. So I was trying to hide a yawn. You had to call me out about it. Thank you. Back there taking a nap. <laughs> okay. And then I want to talk about naps, okay? Because you <laughs> took a nap this week. And I, I know, and I never do. I was so tired. So what did you do today? I took a nap. <laughs> What, what did, oh, I've just done a bunch of running around. I was just tired. The lawn. Lot, yes. I have to mow the lawn like every day. <laughs> this is because it doesn't stop raining. And I even mowed it in the rain two days ago. This is Lizzie Kate. What was this one? Buzzy String. And these are boards that we got at Hobby Lobby. And did you put these together or did Andy? Andy. And Chelsea's husband put these together with a couple of little boards on the back. And then I changed it out with the rest of the strings. So if your beginner like this is she has all the strings now she just finishes it and slaps it back on that same board she doesn't have to come up with a new idea for it maybe just a new idea for the for the board <laughs> okay so this is the square dance from heart and hand and i found this tin at hobby lobby and i bought it to do these on and then when i finished it it was so small and i thought oh it's too small for that but it looks perfect so i love it and I'm just gonna switch them out and what's in there? It's heavy. The magnets are inside. Oh. So that this would lay flat. Yeah. That's smart. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I made the top of it bigger so I could add the bow. The top of the, you know, to show that up close, the top of the backing piece. So I can't wait to see what July is because those haven't been released yet, but I'm sure we'll see them I soon. I love those. I need to start them. Yeah, up. it's cute. And it sits up on the shelf in my kitchen. Oh, and somebody asked about the measurements for my shelf in the kitchen, and I haven't done it yet, but we will do. I'll have Chelsea Kelly. help me today. So th this was one of my mania starts, and I used the floss from the land that I love pack plus then black coffee for the the sheep's head and, and feet. I added some greenery to the bow too, and there's two different colors of ribbon: one's red, white, and blue, and then the one's the red check. And th this was the uh, square dance, and it, it had a lot of pinks in it. But I also used the colors from the Land That I Love pack, the rain shower, and the blue corn. And then I added ladybug in that one. Okay, and then my last finish for this week is the, I don't know if that's on there straight. The holiday hoopla from With I Needle and Thread. And I did change the fireworks on this. I used the rain shower again. I mounted it on sticky board. I I wanted to add batting and I forgot. And I already had it all ready to go. So, And then I used a patriotic 
a check fabric for the back, added some, this is that Lori Holt vintage trim, like Rick Rack, and it's a real heavy duty stuff, looks really pretty. And then I added greenery, some, and the greenery has buds on it. And then I added some red berries and white berries, and then three daisies with covered buttons for the centers, and three colors, or two colors of ribbon, two colors of ribbon. So I love how that turned out, and that's how it looks in the picture. Okay, so let's see your whips. Last night for Fall Friday, I did Country Cottage Needleworks Harvest, Happy Harvest. It's cute. Is that a big enough piece? Is it small? I'm not gonna do the words. Oh, you're just doing the bar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be cute. Are you doing the bottom underneath there then? No, because it's the same board. I'm gonna do this. Oh, okay, board. one border, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was picking out colors and I was going to use pumpkin harvest, but I think I'm going to darken it up because I'm using barn door. I think I'm going to use that colonial copper color because colonial copper is a little bit darker. All right. I'm not organized this week, next week, ever again. So. <laughs> Here. This was last Saturday. This is Union Forever by Maggie. I can't pronounce her last name. For Stars and Stripes Saturday. Just using colors I had. Yeah, we're leaving our stuff in our bags because we got a lot and we don't want to get them mixed up. So it might take a couple extra minutes for us to. This is Waxing Moon Designs. Summer House Trio. Oh, there's another project on there, Carly. Yep. <laughs> it's cute though. Mm -hmm. Then this was uh, Memorial Day. Little House Needleworks Americana Sampling. Didn't get very far. We were busy. We did uh, Mom's Trellises on Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. If you guys didn't see the video, you can check out our Facebook or Instagram. We used cattle panels that we got at Tractor Supply and tea posts um, It's going to be so awesome when my cucumbers are on there and my uh, sunflower, or, uh, why do I always call them sunflower vines? Black Eyed Susan vines. We've never grown them before, but we're... I saw them on a trellis in California. Yeah, in those flower fields in Carlsbad. And they're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> they're kind of overlooked. A lot of basket hanging baskets at the fancier places have them where mm -hmm. they climb the mm -hmm. the hangers and drape over the sides. But, but I can't wait. Mine are already starting to climb up the trellis. Yeah. So and she's I got put them on the corners. One open. Yeah. Um they're called Thunbergia and she calls them Sunbergia. So she's like, I got my Sunbergia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great. I don't. Um, I have six planted though on three on each side of my opening to my garden is what I did. All right. Um, and then we did hands on design autumn acres farm. That's just a cute chart. <laughs> the barn. Got a ton done there. The barn. Yeah. Um, Plum Street samplers, the wool and flax co. Let's talk about this. I did not want to do this one. I did not. So I'm changing. I don't know why. I just looked at it and I was like, mm. but now I love it. Uh, so I put it on blue, gray tea coffee dyed and I just started outlining the barn. And my barn is going to be um, Dublin Bay instead of pink. So it's going to be. I feel like I'm going to do mine red. Good for you. Because I want both of those to hang together. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's going to be St. Bernard. Like St. Bernard. Color. This was in our Fancy Floss Favorites, I believe. Wait, I just went through and got colors from there. But I didn't want a pink barn. I don't know. I'll still probably keep Peep, Bo Peep, I call her, um, pink, but I didn't want the really? pink barn. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Don't second guess me. <laughs> That's all I got, I think. Okay. That's all I got. So I'm still using, and you can see how well it sticks, <laughs> these, these quilts. What are they called? I don't know. 
design boards. They're design boards. They're 10 by 10 design boards. Yes. And this is from Lori Holt and uh, it holds dust too. But when I'm working on a project, I keep this on my ottoman and then I just put my threads on there and they stay like. <laughs> you can hit somebody like your husband who's snoring on the couch and it's just going to stay. And I have all my projects in my bag. And thank we you We love for seeing us. all yes. your pictures. Yes. And these are still available and our shirts are still available at Fat Quarter Shop and the links are below. But look how full this bag is. So they're great. Hey, little Maraca man, we're doing a video. <laughs> this was, uh, I had started this last week and I finally finished it. Oh, somebody asked and I skipped it. But I finished the church. So I have five done all together. And this is the Glitter Village. Bronte wanted to know, are you stitching the glitter houses on silver raw linen? No. no. And so I looked at that linen when we were at Fat Quarter Shop and that, it looked hard to stitch on, to be honest with you, but no. We, we, we stick to our 28 count Monaco in, except for that planks fabric, yep, we've been we, using that. We ventured out. Mm -hmm. But isn't it cute? The stained glass windows. Beautiful. Yep. And I'm not using the glitter floss either. I'm using tea and biscuits in the place. On that. Saturday last week. I started the Patriotic House Trio, and Chelsea actually helped me stitch some of this on Monday when she was here because she didn't bring any stitching and she said, I, I want to do something. Here. Yeah, because it was raining. Sit. Story of our lives, rain. Yeah. So that was Saturday for Stars and Stripes Saturday. Then on Sunday, I did the Christmas house. And all I got done was the word Christmas. And I am going to do all three of these. And I do kind of have the finishing worked out, so. Then Monday. The big old horse. <laughs> <laughs> I started and Heaven and Nature Sing and I started the antlers and the words up at the top. And I am using hickory sticks. That's a shocker, right? Yeah. Then, what day was this? So, Sundays are Santa Sundays, Monday. So, Yule tied on Thistle Hill with the border that I started with the English ivy. And this is a big one. Yes. The next is Halloween House Trio. This must have been for Witchy Wednesday. So you have three of the trios. Do I have three or do I have four? Oh, maybe four. These call for a lot of colors. I'm mm -hmm. gonna be honest with you guys. Oh, I love these. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do a lot of colors. No, I, I like right. to condense it down a little bit. Right. Sometimes you need like 30 oranges and sometimes you don't. And especially if you're using variegated floss, you can mm -hmm. get away with condensing the colors because you still have that kind of variegation in your project. This is Plum Street Samplers, Merry Friends. And this was my progress on that. This is really small, so I should be able to get this done. But I like him because he's an ice skating Santa. <laughs> So hopefully he'll be an ornament. Say hi. Say hi. Last night for Fall Friday was Betsy's Autumn, which is another biggie. And I did a leaf and part of the stem on the tree. So I don't like this orange and black border on a fall design. So okay. I think I'm going to try to do that in different colors, maybe like gray and... Ooh. I don't know, but I used uh, Autumn Spice for this leaf, and I think it looks so pretty. I've never seen that color. It's pretty. That's another good pumpkin color. Mm -hmm. It's kind of orangey-yellow, yes. Okay, and then for my extra things, because I started 30, 36 projects, and I finished four so far for Mania. 
I started. This is Quaker Flag by the Stitcher Hood. This is uh, Stitch Along with Fat Corner Shop. And this is some really, really dark, like soaked all day fabric. Forgot about, went to Chelsea's house. No, that, <laughs> no, I, I meant to leave it in the paint. It wasn't on, it wasn't cooking, it was just soaking. But then I put it in the oven and I went outside and did yard work. I think I mowed the whole lawn and it was still in the oven. <laughs> Didn't burn, it's okay. <laughs> it looks kind of burnt, but I like it. <laughs> And that's a stitch along with Fat Quarter Shop. Did we not say mm -hmm. that? They have them back in stock. Um, stay yes. tuned. I got to start mine this week. Yesterday, I got a little bit more done on Henpecked, and I really like this, so I really want to get this finished. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I started this at the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat. That looks really good. What color are you using? Are you using that thread pack? I use... Barn door blue corn. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hick sticks, barn door, blue corn, bamboo, black, black sticks coffee. and twigs, black and coffee. <laughs> if you need her repertoire. But they all look pretty. That's for patriotic. Okay, and oh. then this one I worked on a little bit this morning. I got all the words done and I started to do the lines in the barn and I was one off, so I had to take them all out. But I got the words done. And this is on that whitewashed board fabric from Fat Quarter Shop and it's linen and I'm stitching on it, so. Fabric flare, right? Mm -hmm. And this is actually blue, um, old blue jeans. Oh. And barn door. I like that color too. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, you call it grandma. <laughs> you see that? Then I started Teresa Kogut's. I gotta get this done for my sunflowers and my bees and sunflowers but it, it's so cute the chickens and I, I said I think last week or the week before that I knew that she had it in a punch needle I own the punch needle you know sometimes <laughs> that's why when people ask us like how do you keep track of we don't I mean it's a but guess. I got this much done on the chicken and I'm just gonna it, it was weird because it called for uh, a DMC outline of black and then the fancy plus in the middle but to me it's pretty much all the same so I'm just doing the whole thing in fancy plus so I gotta finish this though and I think that's it that was all I worked on this week okay that which you're hot that was a lot yeah it rained a lot this week so you had a lot of stitching time so fat quarter shop sent us the new Lori Holt sewing machine patterns they're really cute. So she did cross stitch is mm -hmm. what it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, la, 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 so la, 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 stay tuned. For beginners, Lori Holt's charts are all in color, which are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And they're the like a uh, hard, what is it called? Like hard cardstock, kind of a whole like a prairie schooler. Yeah. So we've got the three new both of us did. The I'm looking three for the new. pacifier. I can't find it. Pacifier down. The three new <laughs> scary apothecaries from Hands on Design. I haven't started the first ones yet, but I got to get these done. I think I'm going to do them as ornaments for my Halloween tree. They're cute. Then I ordered from Fat Quarter Shop because Monaco. I more Monaco. And I already dyed a piece of it. I got four and I dyed a piece of it for my mania. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have some bigger pieces of Monaco, but I'm like trying to save them for in case we do anything really long that, you know, this might not. So these work so great for all Most the- Most size projects yeah, that we do. Because they're 20 by, what size are these? 20 by 24 or something. So they're perfect. And we're gonna do some dyeing. So I thought that we would use this so you can see how the colors turn out. But Fat Quarter Shop has two different sizes of the Monaco. Then yeah. Kimberly did these for her mania. mania, and I thought that they were so cute. And especially the truck one, I'm probably going to stitch it for my truck tree. Oh, that'll be cute. And I've always wanted to do these Cricut Collection Seasons, so. Oh. Thank God that's your phone. Yeah, no, it's mine. <laughs> I think that second tooth on the side is coming in because he's he's been a mess lately. But isn't this pretty? And they have so, all the seasons. They're mm -hmm. beautiful. Plus all the months. 
So it's really cute. I like that. Yeah. I know you'll change the colors. Oh, and then the pink. we already showed you this, but I got two of the sweet Christmas jelly rolls because I make a quilt out of this. And I, of course, want to do the quilt as you go. What are those called? Strip? strip string quilt. or strip? Yeah. So that's next up. So anything that we can link below, we'll link below for you. And well, my haul. Oh, yeah. What haul? Did, oh, yeah, you got an order, too. I ordered Memorial Day. Um, okay, so I'll take him. He's got a lot of stuff that he can grab over by you. Can you say hi? Say hi? Say bye? You can say hi, bye. Going through the store, it's like a parade. He has to wave to everyone. Um, okay, so I got some finishing fabrics. And I don't remember the names or anything like that, but some Christmas flannelly type. Some more for Christmas. Patriotic. I absolutely love this one. Christmassy. Summery. Is this not the best? I love that. It's like a picnic table. Yes, bar. so summery. Okay, that was my haul this week. Um, yeah. And mom just gave me one of her charts, so I have that as my haul too. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so last week we had three giveaways. We had two bags and then, um, I think I'm going to try to stick them in this pipe. The hoopla and the um, <laughs> paddle that has been distressed by Lila May Designs. We thought it would be excellent for you to use as a finishing tool. Of course, you don't have to, but um, okay. So the hoopla duh, goes to Becky Johnson. So congratulations. Our email address is listed in the description box below. So all you have to do is send us a quick email with your physical address and we can mail it out to you. No problem. And then we had two of our the housewives bags. So these are canvas bags. Um, the winner for the first one goes to the purple stitcher. Congratulations. We met her at um, the... Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. Um, at the cross stitch retreat. Mm -hmm. And um, the bag number two goes to Therese Lupo. So congratulations. Both of you email us uh, in the description box below is our email address and send us your physical address so we can mail them out to you. And you have a week to claim yeah, it. Right. <laughs> but it's a week and a day because we aren't doing the video until Sunday. Yeah. But if you don't get a hold of us before probably Monday will probably be the only day that I would be able to go to the post office. So if it'll you don't, be a week. Yeah, it'll be a week after that. If, He's so mad he's on the video. <laughs> he's extra needy. That's how I know he's getting a tooth. This is really clingy. So this is video 98, and we're going to do a big giveaway for our 100th, but we decided that 98 deserves six giveaways. So you have six chances we to win. We don't know where that number came from. Just go with it. <laughs> we just have good stuff to go with. <laughs> so first of all, we have the new Farmhouse Chalk Star, Star Spangled, Spangled Swine Farm. And we have two of these. This is through hands on design and me and there'll be two charts and in your comment that you leave below not on facebook not on instagram not in an email below is the comment section yep you'll you scroll to... to the bottom of this so past our video you'll see maybe some suggested videos and then it says uh comments and mm -hmm. then you can leave your comment there that's mm -hmm. where you have to uh, leave your comment to be included yes. in the giveaway and be a subscriber and like the video please to uh, enter so you need to leave somewhere in your comment, swine, and there'll be two of those given away. This is like the seventh take of this, and she, the first time she said, uh, just say pig, and you're, yeah, we figured there could be some <laughs> weird things said, so we'll and just we, say swine. We love it when you make a little story or a <laughs> sentence to go with. <laughs> All right, the second one is from Lori Holt, so she did. these. Yep. Uh, sewing so machine has to be in your comment to win these. Sewing machine, there's two chances. Um, her patterns are color as well so easy mm -hmm. to read and those are courtesy of the fat quarter shop and these are also courtesy of the fat quarter shop there's two kits the kit includes the um ada that you need the, the three fancy, fancy floss, floss and a needle and a needle so wavy navy toasted marshmallow and licorice red by classic color works a needle you need to use and uh the fabric and the design so yeah. so you can get this beginners. all you're going to have is the scissors yep 
Um, and we're doing a stitch along with this and fan mm -hmm. quarter shop. You can follow along with us. Mom has already started it. I haven't. I'll be starting it this week. So there's two of these. So flag. So flag, swine, sewing machine, or all. Yes, you can you can always be included for all of the giveaways. So we'll have six winners next week. And then when we get to our 100th, we have a lot of special things to give away. So, <laughs> And don't forget that next week we will be a day late. Thanks, Priscilla. <laughs> Ronnie gets to come hang out with me again <laughs> and my chickens. So many nice comments about Flossie yesterday. If you guys didn't see on my Instagram, I have a chicken named Flossie. She's beautiful. She's my favorite chicken. I don't have favorite chickens, but she's my favorite. <laughs> um, okay, so what else? So housekeeping is next Sunday is going to be the video because mm -hmm. she'll be flying. Um, what else? We've got anything that we can, we will link below. And this is the nationals that she's going through. The Bonnie. Yeah, the D1 Collegiate Nationals. Uh, so they're going to Texas to cheer her mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> um, Jolly July starts July 1st. Uh, 31 new starts for ornaments is what mm -hmm. we're doing. Again, you can work on whips, but it's there's an ornament extravaganza. Extravaganza. Palooza. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anything else? Oh, I can't think of anything. Okay. Just we'll link everything that we can think of below. And that we can think of. We appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. Your great comments, your, your fun with us. And we have a great time just hearing Sharing from all of you. you. Yes. yes. And follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea 356, Priscilla's 2000 on Facebook and Priscilla's 2000.blogspot.com where you can always see all the color changes and everything else you need to know. And don't forget, we have our bags and our shirts and that floss pack that you need. So <laughs> fancy floss favorites. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't heard, they are starting a new um, right, that... floss fix. It's a floss club. So it sounds so fun to be a part of. <laughs> um, so each month, starting in August, you'll get a six skeins, mm -hmm. six um, varied colors of the same. Yes. color yeah yes. so like pinks or blues or mm -hmm. but you'll get a range from light to medium to right. dark which is awesome and that'll help build your collection if you're into fancy floss now All so many of you works. yeah right. Right so now. many of you are starting for right now so many of you are starting using fancy floss and raving about it and i really appreciate it but it's a that. nice way to get something every month that you don't have to order and then you have it to switch out to with choose your things. from yes. yeah it just builds your collection and just slap it on some rings and you'll be set to go okay so flag swine or sewing machine. sewing machine. And I'm so excited for this. I can't wait to see you start stitching it. And of course we have our stitch along PC Star Spangled Swine. Yep. So hashtag us, <laughs> stitch it when you get it. We can't wait to see it. Yeah, all of our stitch alongs are ongoing. No start, stop, day. just whenever you want to jump in. Lantern Lane sale is still going on. Yes, so I've seen want. a couple in the past. If you want to start that, absolutely. It's a mansion. So if you're a beginner stitcher, I would. It wasn't I would, even that big. It was a mansion. It was, that <laughs> it was Macaulay Culkin's mansion. No, it was not that big. Yes, it was. Okay. You just got to outline it and stuff and just stitch. Fill it in. Yes. It's so beautiful. If you get your finished. finishing inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects and come join our Stitching with the Housewives group on Facebook. It's so nice. Lots of great things. I'm giving you a dirty look. The cat's yeah. over there on the back of the couch is like glaring at her. Mm -hmm. Just like, why am I not in the video? He's kind of glaring at Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid dog. Yesterday, yesterday Ronnie let him outside and he was trying to eat catnip. In the cracks of mom's patio, <laughs> she grows Chelsea. cilantro and catnip. <laughs> Chelsea grew a pot of catnip for him last year, and apparently really nice. it just scattered itself everywhere. So now I have it growing out of the crack in my patio sidewalk. So, cilantro and catnip. We had the cilantro dressing the other day from the crack in the sidewalk, and it was the best cilantro I've ever tasted. <laughs> Who needs garden beds? Yeah. I just gotta rip it off. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyway, thank you for joining us, and we appreciate it. And don't forget, we won't be here until Sunday next week. And we're we'll sorry. Bye. <laughs>